Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. 
Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I don't care about dogs trained to kill or fight. That's animal abuse. You think I abuse my own dog? I rescued Papadou, you asshole! Wait! That's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do! Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. 
You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Cool, Frank gave up the code to help us. 
Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. All oh, so busted. Good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. 
Those numbers might be useful. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Yes, the game is on. Now, Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. All these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Yep, another car David was tracking. That's definitely Chloe's car. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Max, there's no logical link between those clues.
Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass.
Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Max, there's no logical link between those clues. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor, rich Nathan. Not much out there. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. 
We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn. I found the front door! Come on! Oh, yes! Maximus rules! God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest! A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. <sighs> Nothing here. Of info here. I 
I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Just rotting wood. <sighs> Nothing here. Supermax, you can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe, um, I, I thought. Ah, oh, the good old days. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the other end of the rope. Pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Huh. 
that looks sturdy enough to stand on. I could use the old motor as a counterweight to smash the padlock. So that didn't work at all. So that didn't work at all. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Driver strikes again. to see how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course.
This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. didn't work. Oops, bad code. <sighs> Wrong code. You locked it, dumbass. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Apocalypse Entertainment System. Look at all this weird shit. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... out of it. Maybe... maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot, now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. What is going on between Nathan and his father?
slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no. Please, not her. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too much. Jesus, moves. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. 
Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Where the hell are you? 